You see, that's going to do it. And a big win for the U in Starkville. I, I, as crazy as it sounds, first and foremost, I'm a proud coach. I mean, for us to have a week like we just did down in uh, Houston with three straight games, which I told the media I'm going to find out a lot about my team. All right. And then to come home and then just uh, find all kind of obstacles that were going to be thrown at us. And I had seven kids, seven, that were in the locker room that said, Coach, give me a jersey. We'll find a way. Uh, I couldn't be more proud of them uh, in a night where uh, we're just a couple short, you know, points short there in the fourth quarter. Ran out of the, ran, ran out of gas, but man, they competed. And then tell me a little bit about this kind of situation y'all got going on, and uh, being down a couple of post players, and how that's brought y'all together. As a team. Well, yeah, like you said, we are down three post players, major post players. However, I feel like this just gone have our other girls step up to the plate and I know for a fact that they can do it. They've been working all season. And so it's just going to really show like how hard we do work. All we got to do is really just stick together, play as one, which we do every single day. So yeah, we down three, but at the same time, we got players that can fill in and just do what they need to do for the team. Drop two. <laughs> right, because it's not going to be perfect. We're going to try to keep it on one side, but if not, we got to get multiple layers you got a rhythm about you tonight that you know you're getting minutes, breather, come right back in. It's, it's, it's a perfect formula. Okay. That is beautiful yeah. basketball. Okay. okay. Logo. Here we go. Yeah. I'm excited. I think tonight it's going to be loud in the hump. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, people, I know both teams, coaches, are, they are ready to go. They have been biting at the bits all day long to get ready for this matchup. The biggest thing is if we play like we do, we got to do. We take care of the ball and we play hard on defense because we feed off defense. If we get a stop, we're going to score. But we just got to stay to who we are because honestly, like Coach Corey always tells us, they got to play us too. Whether it's seven or ten, if they got to play, we all won. I say got seven. Any day of the week. Ticket sales are at 5,000, guys. 5,000 right now. This could be an electric atmosphere. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, like, it's, it's going to be fun, guys. They want to press us. They want to get us to space. Let's go. Let's get it. And then most importantly, I bet y'all against anybody in the country. That's right. All right? We're dogs, man. Yeah. Let's, go. let's have fun. Let's yeah. shout the world. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. Playing with seven people, not impossible. Trust <laughs> Yeah, facts. Because you did this. Facts. Facts. Both teams going to the loosening up drills as we're getting set for the opening tip of the ACC SEC Challenge here in Starkville. And the Bulldogs are looking to make a statement tonight a little bit shorthanded. The Bulldogs will only have seven available players tonight. No Jessica Carter, no Aaron Barnum, and no Q Montague for tonight. So in the backcourt, it's Park Lane, Jordan, and Rogers. On the front line, you have Poe and Gun. Taking Gun. 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 All right, you won the dog award. All right, so today I need you to be a dog. Just go out and play hard. You're one of the fastest kids in the country who can run the floor that I ain't never seen. All right, I want to see a joy about you and a smile about you that I'm never going to forget. You understand? And if you do that, we're going to have one hell of a day. Yes, sir. All right, so you seven, I'm excited. And then I'm, I'm going to help you guys out. If you, if you leave it all out on the floor and you're tired, I'll burn all my timeouts, man. I'm not going to save them for the fourth quarter. And I always tell you, make, make sure you save timeouts, but today's a different game. You, you, you give me everything you got, and I'll help you get through. You understand? We don't need the timeouts at the end, all right? I'm going to make sure we, we, we burn out and we get after it, all right? But you got you to leave it all on the floor for me. And if you leave it all on the floor, this crowd's going to be behind us like no other, and you're going to feel like you have 10 tonight, not 7. Y'all got me? Kobe Swanson into the students. Oh, my goodness. Williams kicks it over to Park Lane, squares and fires the three. Yes, Park Lane hits the three. And a uh, sagging man defense. Cody to the basket, scores it with the right hand. Squares her toes, fires the three, and hit it. Miracle Shepard with a big three, and the Bulldogs have tied it. Squares her toes, fires a high arching three. Yes, and this crowd is alive, and the Bulldogs are up 33-29. Timeout, Katie Meyer, Meyer. Brian Russell, you make a mistake, make it hard. Floats it with the right hand, high floater. How in the world did she do it? Fires up the three, and it's good. Rogers with a big three for the left wing. Fires up the three, yes. Tony hits the three, and the Bulldogs just won't go away. Fires at top of the circle, yes. Rogers hits it, and the Bulldogs are down two. And the Bulldogs have shown a lot of heart with just seven players. I look over there, there's two players in uniform on the bench. 
Poe over on the right wing, takes it in the paint, it's lost, and Poe picks it up. Poe trying to call a timeout, and then it's taken away by Spearman, and then Parkland reaches in to tie it up. It's pulled on basketball. Jordan keeps your position, no defense, and we're wide open. Hilton three on the way, it's good. Now putting it up to Spearman off the window, and he could. And the Bulldogs are behind the eight ball. And Roberts is going to run it out in two seconds, one second, and Miami wins it. Miami's a really tough team. You know, they were in the Elite Eight last year. You know, they have a couple returners, new transfers coming in, so they're really tough. Um, but one thing about us, we, we didn't care about that. We wanted to come out. We wanted to, you know, go as hard as we can with the seven people we had. We didn't care that we had seven. Um, all of us expected to win this game tonight, regardless of how many numbers we were down. Um, like I said, they're a tough team, and they got the best of us tonight. Um, but I'm, I'm just proud of my team. You know, we fought hard until the end. Lauren, we got... 39 minutes from Nyunga tonight, I guess. Just what do you think of her performance? Kind of how she, I mean, that was a career high for her to, to play that minutes. What do you think of her performance? Yeah, I'm just proud of her. You know, she came out and she gave it her all at a position that, you know, she's usually not at. Um, she did her best, and I think we're all really proud of her. She showed a lot of heart, and whoever's there is going to show up and is going to play, and she was the definition of that tonight. For her to get her number called tonight and just leave it all on the floor, uh, I'm just so proud. I'm proud of her effort tonight. Uh, I've got a special team. I'm not going to check myself because of, of being low players, right? Obviously, we want to win, and again, I'm going to give credit to Miami. Uh, but again, I don't want to lose the mojo that we've got going on, and I think we got some positive mojo. So if our team can get healthy, self-reflect, uh, take the L, but come back tomorrow for practice, uh, I like where this team can go come March.